Hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at um, things that I want to start doing some uh, puzzle tutorials. So I started a, <coughs> excuse me, I started a zombie uh, game build, um, but I did receive some comments on that saying that it was too common, which I am inclined to agree with. So I wanted to take a look at uh, one of everyone's favourite puzzle games, uh, Portal, and I wanted to start building uh, a portal gun. So I'll show you what I have so far. So if I left click, I place a portal, and if I right click over here, I place a portal. And you see there it says A linked to B. So now if I run through this one, I'm at the other side, and if I go back, oh, it's a little bit weird. I've not figured out the rotation yet. So if I go through this, I end up facing the same way, which means if I walk forwards, you know, you end up with this kind of jumping from one to another. Um, but from the rear of it, it seems fine. Um, so I will work on that, and that will be in another tutorial. But for today, I'm just going to show you how to make this so far. Um, so let's go ahead and see what I have, what classes I've got here. So I decided to split it up into a Portal A and a Portal B instead of just uh, a single Portal class. This is possible to do in a single Portal class, but I'm not going to show you how to do that here. Uh, so let's take a look at the Portal A class first of all. We have a few custom events, uh, and I'll go through those first. So, what we have here is a destroy event. Now, if you place more than one um, portal of type A or type B, it will destroy the existing one, as is the case in the portal game. Um, unlink, which I don't actually use yet, but I've created it just in case. Uh, actually, before I start going through these, I should probably talk you through the variables I have. So, inside portal A, I have a, um, a variable of type portal B. And similarly, in Portal B, I have a variable of type Portal A. And I'll go through that in a moment. They also both have a Boolean value named linked. So if it's not linked, basically the portal won't do anything. So let's let's talk you through the logic on this. So when you enter the field of the portal, so if you notice here, it's just a cube with a trigger box around it. So whenever you touch this trigger volume, um, if linked is true, so if there are two of them, then we're going to cast you to the third person character. And we're only going to do this once to stop multiple teleportations. And then we're basically just going to set the actor location and the target for that is our third person character. Sorry. So the location we want to head to, and this is where the reference to portal B comes in. So we need a reference to portal B. We're going to get that actor's location. And the reason I add this vector here, I could have just left like done this. But the reason I instead add this is if you put yourself um, at 000 straight on top of the other portal, you'll still be inside the trigger volume and you will basically just uh, keep looping between the two. Uh, an Unreal Engine will crash and tell you you've got an infinite loop there. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that just to show you why we do this. Um, I'm also going to move that out in portal B just so that it does work. So I'll go ahead and place a portal there and a portal there and as soon as I step into it I get this that there's an infinite loop and that's because I'm on top of the trigger volume once I teleport through so I will open this back up and reconnect those vectors there okay so that's all it basically does we just have a do once and we move the target location um, and in, in order to reset the do once so that you can use the portal again you must uh, end overlap which is basically leave the trigger volume and then it will reset and you can go back through it again. So I'll go back through those custom events now. The link custom event here will set the value of portal B and that takes a parameter of type portal B and then it sets it. So when you call link, you must provide it with a reference to the portal. Um, so on A, it, it sounds a little bit confusing, but on portal A, uh, you need to set a reference to portal B. I then set the linked value to true so the teleporters can work and for debugging purposes I have a print string here that prints out a linked to b. Inside the third person character now this is where it looks a little bit messy and it is it looks spaghetti like but I'll, I'll talk through it and we'll go through it slowly. Um, in fact I could even break this up just by moving these guys down here. Uh, there are some shared bits of um, data which is here these nodes that go both ways um, along with these guys at the end so I'll, I'll, I'll organize it like that and then it should be a bit clearer to talk through so when I press the left mouse button 
if a equals null. Okay, so what we're doing there basically is saying, uh, oh yeah, okay, sorry, I forgot to mention this. Inside the third person character, there's also a portal a and a portal b uh, variable of their corresponding type, so portal a and portal b. So when we press the left mouse button, if a is empty, then we're going to spawn it. Okay, so we're going to spawn it out to if a is not empty, so there is already an existing a portal, then we're going to cast to that. Uh, I didn't need to do that, but um, we're going to cast to that and we're going to destroy it. So forget the cast, that was my bad there. We're just going to go straight up and destroy this actor from the false. From the destroy, once we've already destroyed it, then we can go ahead and place another one uh, of type portal A. Now the spawn transform we get down here by getting my location we break it up a bit and we spawn it a little bit ahead of us. Again, you could have just done the plug the transform straight in, but it would spawn the portal right on top of you. Um, this will be modified uh, as these tutorial series goes on in order to, we're actually gonna be able to shoot the portals and have them stick on various walls, but we'll get to that at a later date. So for now, we're just gonna place the portal a little bit ahead of ourselves. We'll come back up here and this is where we set that value a within site within our third person character so once we've done that once we've set it if it's not null that and if if neither of them are null that is rather so if b and a both exist in the world then i will call link on both of them and that link method in either of these cases will basically set their values to and set the linked to be true so that is basically how we go ahead and spawn the portal and then the portals themselves handle the teleportation of the character. Um, I hope that was clear enough. Uh, one thing that I must mention is to enable this teleport here when you call the set at the location within the portal class. The reason we use teleport is we don't want, um, if you don't have teleport checked, basically it's gonna try and move that character from a position to another position if there's walls and things in the way it's going to get messy but if you enable this teleport here basically it will just teleport it um, which is what we want to do we're, we're building a teleportation thing here so make sure that's enabled in both your portal a and your portal b so we'll compile those and just have one last look at what this is actually doing so if i head up here i can place a portal up here okay a bit weird uh, again, the location, the placing of them will be sorted out in later videos. This is just to get the concept down. So now, when I walk through, I fall off the edge because those, that's where I've placed the portals. And you see this here, this is the issue I have with the rotation that I mentioned at the beginning, but that can be sorted out at a later date. That's pretty cool. Running from this side, there we go. Okay, yeah, thanks guys, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, please stay subscribed to the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already for new and upcoming Unreal Engine 4 videos. Um, have a good one, see you in the next video.